All right, have and have not fans, now we see in the last week's episode that the friendship between Catherine and Hannah is now on the rocks after Catherine pretty much admitted or admitted to not admitting that Wyatt was the one to hit Benny and little Lizzie. Now, this episode really brought out some interesting facts about the two characters, and I believe I said this in one of my prediction videos that the highlight of the episode for me would be Hannah and Catherine finally talking about the elephant in the room, being that Wyatt was the one to hit Benny, but Catherine never up, upright said that, hey, my son was the one to hit your son. It's not that Catherine's a bad person, and it might sound like I'm trying to defend her, but hear me out. Hannah and Catherine are good friends, if you want to call them that, which I really do think they are, with Hannah being Catherine's only real friend because, you know, Catherine said that Veronica's only a friend when it's to her benefit, being, you know, like the looking like she's close with the Catherine's family in terms of the family name and boosting her own popularity. And whenever she has a problem, she's there to talk to Catherine about her issues with the Harrington household, but she's never really there to help out Catherine with her own. And then you have, you know, Jim being a cheating husband and then her kids not loving her at all with, you know, Amanda lashing out as soon as Candace dug her claws into her and then Wyatt just being, well, Wyatt. And Hannah was the only one there for, especially if you look through her battle with cancer back in season one. And then you look at season three after Amanda died that Hannah was there for her every step of the way. Season two was where the friendship first got on the rocks in terms of Hannah suspecting, or according to Catherine, Hannah knew that Wyatt was the one to hit Benny, but she never outright right said it. So Hannah was pretty much, season two, I feel like season two was Hannah on defense the entire time because she didn't know who she could trust. And with Byron being the only one she opened up to, but it turns out he was a snake in the grass, that just really made Hannah defensive on all ends to everybody with her caring about Benny and lashing out at anybody else and for good reason given the fact that her world or in anyone she can trust or she thought she can trust turned out to be two-faced and lying like Byron, Celine and the list goes on and when you look at their background you know Hannah and Catherine came from two different sides of the tracks where honesty for one of the for Hannah might not mean the same thing to Catherine being that Catherine was always defending herself in the last episode saying that, hey, there was no need in no unspoken terms. This is literally what she was telling Hannah, like, hey, there was no reason for me to admit that Wyatt was the one to hit your son because you already knew that Wyatt was guilty. But she did try to cover it up. Jim th tried to make Hannah think she was crazy and, and almost threatened her, you know, saying that, hey, just be careful out there. It's not safe. Uh, that was the episode where Celine and Hannah got into a cat fight. Then Jim came down to talk to him. Uh, Hannah about it and then after the whole Norman Hewins thing went down that's when Hannah went back to the crier state to say hey I'm sorry please forgive me it's sad but sad to say but Catherine didn't admit that why it was the one hit Benny she let Hannah go along with the illusion until you know she found out the truth from Wyatt's mouth a couple episodes ago now you just have to look at their friendship in terms of they have each other's back but we know that Hannah's all in for Catherine. But Catherine, I mean, it's just hard to say that she's there for Hannah. I mean, she is there because, number one, she helped out Benny. But Hannah did make a good point because, hey, I thought you helped out my son because you care. But it turns out she only did it to not feel guilty and to cover up the lie. And also, she helped get the judge in, can't, excuse me, in Hannah's favor to have custody of little Q. And, heck, she almost... She was willing to uh, get Hannah a new house after Quincy, you know, destroyed it with the car burning and everything. So that just goes to show that, hey, she has Hannah's back no matter what. But this whole Wyatt and Benny situation has pretty much blown things out of proportion. And the question is, you know, does Hannah have every right to be mad? I mean, honestly, I think she does because she's been honest with Catherine about everything. Well, to a certain extent, because she didn't tell Catherine that Candace was her daughter up front because Celine was the one to say, hey, don't tell, you know, the criers that Candace is your daughter. I believe that was back during episode one or two. It wasn't until the episode before the season finale, season one, that Veronica, you know, told 
Hannah, she had about 24 hours to tell Catherine the truth about Candace or she would be the one to tell him it was in regards to, you know, getting Benny out of jail. I would say that, I mean, it's hard to say because Hannah wanted to quit her job. I get why she wants to quit, but she has to realize, you know, where she's going to go. Because number one, if she wants to maintain custody of little Q, she needs a stable household. She has to have a steady income. And about her job as a maid, and if she gets this one check from Catherine, which it doesn't look like she's going to get unless she stays at the job, she's not going to have any money. So I get that she's a proud black woman, and for good reason. I admire that about her. But sometimes that pride blinds her to what's right in front of her, being that I get that she's a woman of faith. She's an independent, strong black woman. But she has to realize, but she doesn't She doesn't cut corners. I will say I admire that about Hannah. She doesn't cut corners in terms of taking the easy way out because she knows that's not the right way and that's going to come back to haunt her. So with that being said, I will say this much. I think that the friendship is on the rocks for sure. I hope that Catherine learns that, you know, as Hannah says in the next episode, this is probably one of my favorite quotes for the entire series. The problem with, I can't even get it out because it just has me so, it's just so amazing. And Crystal Fox just, you know, nailed it when she said this in a preview for next week. That's the problem with being rich. You know, you rich people can buy anything you want, but you got to beg for what you need. So I really hope that Catherine takes some real spirit. And that's what I love about Hannah. She's like that spiritual aspect to the Cryer family, giving them the one thing they don't have, but they desperately need, which is that faith, that spirit, that, you know, fear of God in reference to all the underhanded things that they're doing. So do you think that the friendship between Hannah and and Catherine can be mended uh you know will Hannah stay at the job will she quit I really hope that we figure out something before the season finale if I'm not mistaken next week is going to be the episode before the mid-season finale so there is I don't think there's time to fully mend everything I just want to see if there's going to be some kind of resolution to their friendship and I'll say this much if things don't get resolved within the next couple of episodes I bet that when the second half of season four comes out, it's going to be some dramatic event that will make the two kind of join forces once again because they need each other, whether or not they admit it. Because Catherine, well, Catherine flies out, flat out admits that, hey, without you, I don't know what I want to do. That's why she's so adamant on Hannah not quitting. Hannah's pretty much thrown her hands up for good reason because, again, everybody who she thought she can trust turned out to be Two Face, uh, David, Jim. Catherine, then Veronica, it's just the list goes on. So she, she has every right to not trust anyone. But at the same time, she has to realize that she needs to do something in order to maintain custody of Little Q. So with that being said, uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think about the friendship between Catherine and Hannah. Will the two, you know, make amends or will the friendship be gone for good? So please like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel because I will be trying to make a couple more videos for the next episode.